Here is the list of properties of vectors. I would like you to have a close look at it and understand. There are times when we have to simplify some expressions with vectors. In that, in every statement, we should write which property was followed in simplification of that particular expression. Now, the properties applied for vector addition and scalar multiplication. So there are two types of properties here. Rather, when we talk about properties of vectors, we are considering two things. One is properties for addition and the other one is scalar multiplication. Remember that. And therefore, there in the properties, you'll find two different kinds of names. I would like you to remember that and notice that. I've seen students just not noticing it and missing out on some objective type questions. So as you can see here, the first three, the names are commutative property of addition. We are very familiar with commutative, associative and distributive laws, right? In algebra. Now here we're talking about vectors. So basically we have two vectors here, A and B. So vector addition is commutative and therefore we have a property, commutative property of addition. Vector A plus vector B is same as vector B plus vector A. Associative property of addition. So there are three vectors involved and the order can be changed. That is what it is, right? Then we have distributive property of addition. So note important thing here is that we have vectors as addition in the bracket. Do you see? Vectors are being added in the bracket and they're being multiplied by a scalar and then that is distributed and we get k times vector a plus k times vector b. It's kind of important to understand this and these are actually properties of addition, right? Vector addition, correct? Let's look into the other properties. Adding zero. So when you zero as an identity for vectors, as far as addition is concerned. So if you add zero vector, it is not zero, it is zero vector. Adding zero vector, you get the same vector, right? So that is a additive identity for vectors. Then we have associative law for scalars. Associated law for, note the name, law for scalars. Correct? What is happening here is scalar multiplication. Do you see that? What we have here is a scalar multiplication. Do you see that? So that is what it is. Associated law of scalars. And that's how it is. And then we have distributive law for scalars. Correct? So what is happening here is these are two scalars, M and N. Right? These are scalars. And that is how, why it is called distributive law of scalars. And they become M plus N. M plus N is a scalar. Times the vector A equals to M times scalar product of M with A plus N with A. Right? So note that these two properties here have a different name. They go with law for scalars rather than property of addition, right? So, so a couple of questions may go wrong with you if you don't make this note, right? Especially one where you need to simplify and communicate the steps. So I'd like you to go through it properly, understand and remember. Thanks and all the best.